Reading 63 from the Psychological Commentaries on the Teaching of Gurdjieff and Uspensky by Dr. Maurice Nichol. Volume 3. Great Amel House, January 25th, 1947. Magnetic Center and Positive Ideas. It has been often said in the teaching of this work that one of the signs of being in a person is the possession of magnetic center, which signifies the power of seeing things on different levels. A sense of scale in regard to the meaning of magnetic center has nothing to do with the mechanical sense of scale. For example, an emotional type, an artist, has a sense of scale about art, and usually a very jealous one. Or an intellectual man, a number three man, has a sense of scale about intellectual things, and again is very jealous. But this is not the scale that magnetic center gives, which is a scale outside life. For example, let us take a number one man who judges everything from the viewpoint of physical prowess. He meets a number two man who is, say, an artist. He feels nothing from this artist because he has no sense of scale. He cannot understand that this artist who perhaps contributes to the culture of life, is superior to him because he judges him from his physical power, and so on. That is, he sees nothing higher than himself except invisible people who are taller or shorter or more powerful than himself. So he derives his feeling of scale from the physical senses. Magnetic center, however, means the power of seeing beyond our mechanical fixations, it means the power of seeing that there is something far higher than oneself. Whether one is number one, number two, or number three man. Speaking in general, a man who possesses magnetic center is at a higher level than one who does not, because he can see higher and lower. There are, however, different qualities of magnetic center. Sometimes people have what Mr. Uspinsky called false magnetic center and sometimes they have multiple magnetic center, that is, they have many small, weak magnetic centers. As a result, they run after every variety of magical and pseudo-occult practice, every kind of mystical cult, or even join end-of-the-world societies, or spend their time in measuring dark passages in the pyramids and explaining everything by them. Such people have no right sense of scale. Right magnetic center does not lead in this direction. But both in a man with wrong or false magnetic center and a man with right magnetic center, there is the belief that there is something higher, another idea of life, and that life cannot be explained in terms of itself. This is a positive idea. Now, man, being created a self-developing organism, as the work says, cannot fulfill himself unless he finds out how to develop. He may feel he cannot explain the universe, or that he cannot explain himself, or both. In any case, the sense of mystery enters. This feeling, this continual awareness of the inexplicability of everything, is one of the signs of right magnetic center. Curiosity, ambition to be great, the excitingness of so-called occult knowledge, and the belief that one can get something for nothing have to do with small eyes and with the self-emotions. But the sense of mystery goes beyond all self-love. It decreases personality. It makes a man feel his nothingness. So it connects him with positive ideas for anything that renders personality more passive and essence more active has connection with positive ideas. For this reason, God as absolute is a positive idea. The ray of creation is a positive idea. The conscious circle of humanity is a positive idea. The idea that we are all asleep and must awaken is a positive idea. Let us recall once more the teaching of the work about magnetic center. It says that magnetic center brings us into the work, but cannot keep us there without our own efforts. We have to work on ourselves and in contact with the system that tells us how we have to work. We will have to will this work. To attempt to do this work, such as the practicing of non-identifying, without willing the work, cannot give any result. 
Will starts from affection. Will, if you come to think of it, is love. One emotion can overcome another if strong enough. The center of gravity of will lies in the emotional center. It is worth reflecting on this oneself. But although a man may have right magnetic center, which should lie in the intellectual part of the emotional center, it is only introductory. If he is led to a teaching connected with the conscious circle of humanity by means of it, his task is only begun. He has to turn his sense of mystery, his seeking, his cravings, his lack, into something real, into practical and practiced work. And the more he values emotionally, the more he is given help. If he has the strength to catch the rope overhead, then not only is he working, but the work works on him. It begins to teach him, in periods of silence, in those gaps in one's mechanical life when usually everything is a blank or boredom. Above all, it enters when one has separated, that is, not identified with one of the hundred and one daily things that keep us asleep and seem so great through identifying, which is an enormous magnifying lens. People like to make a problem of everything, to be worried, and like flies get stuck on every little flypaper event. One may have no idea how it is possible to avoid these flypapers, that is, unless one takes the work simply and applies it simply almost at every moment. What an uprolling of care can then take place, and how these things adjust themselves and fall into their right place. Some people do not distinguish the difference between A and B influences. They take everything in life in the same way and on the same level. Others recognize B influences and are affected by them, and a few even make an effort to find out more. This is due to the quality of magnetic center. They seek. Only a few seek from themselves. Memory, due to recurrence, may make magnetic center very strong from earliest times. In a sense, contact with the work may create magnetic center in those who seem not to possess it. If so, in recurrence, they will recognize the work when they hear it again, for everything repeats, everything returns in the circle of one's life. However, the work simply says that magnetic center is acquired and is due to the early influences a child has been under. Today, it is ceasing to exist, that is, the level of humanity is dropping. Positive ideas in the work meaning are being replaced by negative ideas. As a consequence, all those higher parts of centers that we are furnished with, just because we are self-developing organisms, are not made contact with, not used, not given food. Man more and more is living in the basement, not merely literally, and in consequence change of being is being made impossible, for only positive ideas can change being. Since change of being, that is, self-development, is the real idea of man by his creation, his individual meaning is being lost. If we change being, even a little, as not disliking so easily, not identifying with every worry, our life alters. Unless we change being, the taste of our life and our actual life situations remain nearly the same. Without positive ideas, that is, without contact with C influences via B influences, all the real meaning of man perishes. He is cut off from influences that could change him, so he becomes wholly under the power of A influences. He then serves life and the big machines of life, politics, trade, war, mass exercise, mass propaganda, etc. He will not possess magnetic center. He will not seek positive ideas. His inner mind is shut. His inner life dies. And esoterically speaking, he becomes useless, meaningless, dead. 
Much was said in the Gospels about the quick and the dead, and many warnings were given about man being cut off, which can be understood far more distinctly from the work ideas. On the other hand, a culture comes to an end, and has to be destroyed, and the flood comes, namely barbarism, violence, loss of truth. Then an ark is made to survive the flood and keep alive knowledge for the next culture. What do you think of this time in the light of these ideas?